Hey there guys, and welcome back to your third video tutorial on SQL injection. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we started to take a look at some of the methods a hacker can use to begin extracting their own information from a database. Uh, we looked at the order by statement and how order by can be used to find the number of columns being returned from an SQL query. Uh, now, in this tutorial, we're going to be expanding on that concept a little more and we're going to take a look at the union statement uh, and how it can be used in SQL injection. And now the union statement is probably, for some hackers, it's probably one of the most important tools in their arsenal because it simply allows the hacker to replace data being returned from an SQL query with kind of whatever they want. They can replace it with their own uh, static data like numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They can replace it with other data from the database, which is an example I'm going to be taking a look at right now. Uh, so if we jump over into this WordPad document I have set up over here, uh, this is a good example of how the union statement works in SQL. Uh, now the basis behind the union statement is that it allows you to combine two sets of results. Uh, but for a hacker or someone who's using SQL injection to kind of break into a web server or exploit a web server, uh, they can use the union statement to overwrite uh, the results that have already been returned from the, or the results that are going to be returned from the uh, original database query. Uh, so up here I have a small table laid out uh, that's just titled normal results. And this is an example of an SQL query to our users table that we've been looking at so far in this series. Uh, we have the user ID, which is going to be 1. We have the username, which is test1. We have the password, which is an MD5 uh, hashed 32-character uh, password, which I don't actually know. Uh, it's just a random kind of series of letters and numbers right now. Uh, there are ways to unhash an MD5 password, but we'll we'll get to that later on in the series. Uh, but for now, just know that this is a kind of a placeholder for what the password would actually be. And we have the email address, which is test1 at test.com. So that's just a simple, normal SQL query, which is returning a single user from the database. Now if we go down here to unionize results, which is the second table I've created here, uh, I can give you guys an example of how un the union statement can be used to replace the data being uh, taken from this query right here. So uh, our unionized query is simply going to do, uh, for the most part, it's going to do much the same kind of stuff as our normal query. We're going to get the username, test1. We're going to get the password returned, which is again just an M. Uh, MD5 hashed password. It isn't actually just a password in plain text. And we're going to, uh, down here at email address, we're actually going to change it slightly. Uh, we're going to use the union statement in SQL uh, and we're going to inject our own union statement into the already built query on the website. And we're going to ask the union statement to replace the email address with users.password. And by doing so, we've pretty much told the database to, you know, hey, instead of going to the users column, or instead of going to the email column, sorry, and taking the user's email address out, uh, whenever you're supposed to take out their email address, just go take out their password instead. I mean, just take out their password and put that into the email field right here. Uh, now, this might not seem like such a big deal to you guys, but... Uh, it kind of becomes more apparent when you go back over to our web page right here, our find a user page, and we search for a user. I'm going to search for test1 and submit that. Uh, we get the user's username and we get their email address I put it to the screen. Uh, now the dangers of a uh, SQL injection union attack is that the hacker can replace this email address right here with the uh, user's password instead and then the web page isn't going to know any better and it's just going to output their password right here instead of their email address which is a serious security vulnerability because it leads to accounts getting compromised, people logging in as administrators and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we're actually going to take a look at how to use the union statement in the next tutorial 
but uh, I just thought I'd go over the kind of theory behind it in this tutorial to give you guys a basic idea of how it works before we jump in and start using it. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.